Hey, welcome back everybody. Brother Kimo here from Reload Hawaii and thank you for watching another video. Tonight we're going to geek out on flashlights. I mean, seriously, I went down that rabbit hole for like two or three months researching flashlights and I can say with the utmost confidence that I don't think anybody should pay a hundred, two hundred, even three hundred dollars for a flashlight like from Surefire uh, or even from like Phoenix. Hey, if you got it like that and you want to spend the money, great stuff. But I've come up with the conclusion that you can make your own flashlight like this guy right here for about 40 bucks. What do I mean? Let me make good deal for you. Come follow me. Let me show you what I mean. Okay guys, these are all the components you need to build your own flashlight and I bought them from mtnelectronics.com. I'll leave a link in the description section on the bottom. But here you go. I chose the Convoy C8. This is version 3. This is an aluminum alloy body with a black anodized finish. Comes with a lanyard, tail clicky, and a nice deep smooth reflector so the beam should throw pretty far. Uh, that cost $11 and I did spend another $2 for the orange peel reflector. So I can show you guys the difference. Now the idea behind the orange peel reflector, you see it's kind of all bumpy in there. It's gonna take the light, diffuse it over a wider range uh, which shouldn't go as far. So it just depends on what you wanna use your flashlight for and that was two bucks again. Uh, these two guys down here, uh, this is the driver circuit board. Basically it's gonna hold all of your chips and it's gonna sit just like that in the flashlight and the emitter which is this guy this is a Cree LED it's gonna sit this way of course because it has to beam out through the lens so uh, let me talk a little bit about this guy so the driver board is usually cost around six bucks but you can see all of these little black boxes that are on here normally flashlights have maybe one or three even your high-end ones have maybe four I don't even know um, but the idea between the uh, black boxes here, these 7135 current regulator chips is, the more of these you have on the driver board, the more output current that's going to go to the emitter. So there's eight of these bad boys, so it cost me $16 to have them solder and stack all of these on top of there. So $16 for that. So I don't even want to know how crappy my battery life is going to be or how hot this thing is going to get. And that's what the, uh, the LED is sitting on here. It's sitting on a thermal pad, uh, MCPC, uh, bleh. MC PCB board, metal core printed circuit board, um, and on sitting on top of that is the XML XHP50 by Cree. Now, guys, a lot of your high end flashlights are going to have something, or if not exactly like this, and guess how much it costs? Eight dollar. And they have them in a wide variety of ranges, guys. So, your high end flashlights are running like an eight dollar LED, just like this, but this thing is crazy it's going to be able to handle all of the current um and of course we have the heat sink thermal pad here to handle that we're going to put some thermal paste on the bottom uh as we set it down in here uh, like that so again guys this is the same uh led that's in all of your or most of your um high-end flashlights for eight bucks so what happens is i got to put some solder here on the positive and the negative thermal paste on the bottom it's going to sit like that in the flashlight and then i'm going to have to come in with my horrible soldering skills and then solder the positive here and the negative on the other side. But that's pretty much it. So I'll get it together. We can have a look at what it looks like and then I can show you the difference between a smooth reflector and an orange peel reflector. So I'll be right back. Before getting into how both of these flashlights did, I just wanted to get them down and measure them for you so you can see the size comparisons. And there are some major differences that I want to go over. And I know I said at the beginning of the video that I don't think anybody should have to pay, but there are some major reasons why you might want to buy a premium flashlight like the Phoenix. So here we go. Let's get it on the way here. So the Phoenix RC11 is about four and a half inches and the Convoy is around five and a half inches. And you know, it's not really a fair comparison because the head on the Convoy is so much bigger. Here you go versus a quarter. Uh, let me get the Phoenix light in here so you can see that, um, you know, just about there. You know, in fact, I think the better comparison would be against this DQG Tiny 4. Uh, those are around the same size. So this is around 30 bucks from GearBest.com. So look for that review. I'm going to put these two uh, in comparison next to each other. Uh, but getting back to these two, so this guy is between $90 and $100 depending on where you find it. But this has a lifetime warranty on it. It's IPX8 waterproof, so it's uh, one of the higher standards for waterproofing. I think the Phoenix site set up to 2 meters of continuous um, submerge time. And uh, their customer service is going to be a lot better than uh, the Convoy C8 Mounting Electronics guys. Um, and it is USB chargeable. This one you have to buy your own charger for. Uh, and for 40 bucks, so this is a hell of a flashlight. It's very solid. The beam is very bright, brighter than the um, 
the the phoenix we're going to see but again getting a hold of somebody from mtn is very difficult they only function through email and there's no mention of warranty to their website so if you're going to bang up your flashlights and you need that customer service available that service available i think getting a you know a premium flashlight brand like phoenix is going to be a lot more worth your time but let's see how both of these did right now all right, that's the Phoenix website just showing you that highlighted blue area that it is indeed a Cree XML, very similar to the LED that's in the Convoy. Here is a look at the RC11 beam pattern. It's very soft, can't even really tell what the heck it is as compared to the Convoy uh, smooth beam that is almost like a laser beam slash lightsaber. I put the orange peel in the Convoy. You can see how it diffuses the light over a greater area. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the beam pattern on the wall for the uh, RC11. You can see it's pretty soft around the edges as compared to this very distinct hotspot right in the middle there, very direct. I'm gonna put the orange peel in. You're gonna see how the hotspot increases and the light just gets a little bit larger. Uh, so the Phoenix, take a, this is a scary trail, man, at night. Uh, Phoenix in the woods, man. Uh, watch how it shrinks down with the Convoy Smooth Reflector. Uh, and then with the orange peel, it's being roughly about the same size, but you're gonna notice the hotspot is a lot more diffused in the middle, a little bit softer. Uh, here is a look at the RC11. What I'm trying to show you here is that it just doesn't go as far. It doesn't throw as far um, as the convoy here. It's like that eye of Mordor. Check that out. It's nuts. Anyway, that's a $40 flashlight. That's the ending of the review. I learned a lot, guys. If the video does well, if there's enough interest and people wanted me to show you how to put it together, I'll totally do it. Uh, but again, I just wanted to reiterate that if you need the customer service and the warranty, please go with a higher end flashlight. But if you want to make your own, you can get it as little as, I think, $20 for some of their flashlight hosts. This one was 40 bucks just because I went for the uh, increased 7135 trips on the driver. But give it a go, man. Guys, if you hasn't check, haven't, haven't checked out the rest of my videos, please give it a go. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. And as always, guys, I will catch you later.